video, we're talking party dressing, party wear for Indian men. And we're not just going to cover one kind of party, we're going to talk about four different looks for four different kinds of parties. We're covering the absolute formal party, maybe a corporate event, your school or college farewell, any event where there's going to be CEOs or VIPs. Next, we're going to be covering the formalish casual party, maybe someone's anniversary or birthday or night out to a fancy bar or a lounge. Next, we're going to be covering the clubbing look, the chill clothing that you wear to a dance club or a house party. And finally, we're talking about the daytime party look. All about those light colors, all about that Sunday brunch scene. So I'll be talking about every single aspect of all those looks. But first, you've got to understand three constants in every single look. Constant number one, you've got to wear some kind of wrist accessory. Ideally, it should be a watch. If you want my watch recommendations, make sure you check out the video we made on the best best fashion brands in India. Constant number two, we're talking about the perfect hair product when it comes to party grooming. We're talking hair wax. Apply it onto your hair in order to get that slightly wet, slightly more groomed finish. Perfect for all kinds of parties. And the third constant is a good quality perfume or cologne. Made an entire video on that topic. Make sure you check it out if you want more information on how to smell perfect in order to appear more attractive. Now let's start with the party looks. So look number one that we're talking about is the absolute formal party, maybe your office party, a corporate event or an event where there's CEOs, VIPs coming in. Rule number one for this kind of party is that the minimum you've got to do is at least wear a good shirt that you're going to tuck into your pants. For an event like this, you want to wear the same trousers you wear to your office, ideally a darker color. And if you don't want to go for trousers, you can go for a dark colored chino, maybe black chinos or gray chinos. And as for the shirt you can wear, ideally give preference to darker colors, black, navy blue, dark gray like in this case. Your next preference is maybe off-white shirts. That's extremely light pink or extremely light blue. Those are kind of more formalish. And then your next option is a good quality white shirt. In all three cases, your pants complete the look. But if you're going for a slightly darker shirt, you can even go for like a small pattern like in this case. It's a grey shirt with these small grey checks. These checks or patterns add personality to your outfit and take your party look one step further in that casual direction but still keep it formal. As for your shoes and belts in this case, obviously you've got to match the colours. It's a formal occasion. You can go for formal shoes. You can go for semi-formal shoes like brogues or monk straps. And finally, you can also go for a great pair of loafers that will pair extremely well with your outfit and now very importantly if you want to go one step further and impress everyone at that formal occasion you can wear a suit like in this case if it's a formal event ideally match your trousers to the color of your jacket if it's a slightly less formal event than the kind of event i'm speaking about play around with the color of your pants just make sure it pairs well with the color of your jacket and also when you're going and buying a suit ideally get it from a tailor get your own tailored suit that will fit you perfectly all right so that covers it all when we're talking about the formal look but what about parties where it's a little more chill maybe you're going out for someone's birthday an anniversary maybe a fancy club or a fancy bar let me hand it over to slightly more children we Alright, so while we're talking about the formalish casual look, you've got to keep in mind two key factors, play around with colours and play around with patterns. Like in this case, check out this pattern shirt. If you pair it with the correct pants, it'll look absolutely fantastic because this is extremely fashionable currently. So while it's in vogue, while it's still fashionable, make complete use of it. As you can see, in this case, I've paired it up with these brown chinos. That's the other factor you've got to keep in mind. Once again, no jeans, no trousers in this case because it's not a completely formal occasion. Your best bet are a good pair of chinos. But let's talk more about colours while we're talking about nighttime parties. The rules aren't that strict when compared to the previous formal occasion that we spoke about. You don't have to stick to whites, off-whites or dark colours. You can play around a little bit. Just make sure it's nothing too bright and jazzy because that looks tacky in any situation. Also keep in mind, it's a nighttime party and nightwear is all about keeping your colours slightly darker, slightly on the sober side. Of course, if you want, you can tuck your shirt into your pant to give yourself that slightly more formal look. But I feel for chilled parties, you can leave your shirt outside if you've bought yourself a good quality slim fit shirt. And of course, if you have the physique to pull it off. If you want, you can even go for a polo t-shirt in this case, but I'd always prefer wearing a good quality shirt to these kind of formalish casual parties. 
And as for shoes, we're definitely talking a smart pair of loafers that go well with your outfit. And if you want, then you can also try experimenting with a pair of semi-formal shoes, maybe Brogues or Oxfords. Or you can also go for a very slick pair of boots if you believe that you can pull it off with your outfit. Next, let's dress down a little bit and let's talk about situations where you can afford to wear t-shirts and jeans. We're talking about the clubbing look or the smart house party look. We're talking polos paired up with chinos like in this case. It is kind of formal because of this collar element. But keep in mind that this outfit is 100% casual. Instead of pairing it up with chinos, you can pair it up with a pair of distressed jeans which are extremely in right now. But if you want to make your outfit just a little bit more casual than this particular outfit, we're talking about v-necks, slightly more party than just a normal round neck t-shirt. And when paired with the perfect pair of jeans, this is the perfect outfit for a house party, for a clubbing situation, or even if you're just going out on a casual date. This is the only party situation where you can go for a pair of jeans. Of course, you can go for a pair of deep blue jeans like I speak about in all my videos. But if you want to take your look one step further and stand out from the crowd, Pair it up with a smart bomber jacket like in this case. Jackets are expensive. If you want a versatile jacket, go for a black jacket like this. But if you're going to be pairing it up with a v-neck, only pair it up with a black v-neck or a plain white v-neck or a white round neck t-shirt like in this case. Those are the two best looks for a bomber jacket. And the shoes that pair up perfectly with this outfit are sneakers obviously. White or colored sneakers like in this case. Go fantastic. Just try matching the color of your shoes to the color of your outfit. So that's that when it comes to all the nighttime parties but what about those occasional Sunday brunches maybe that poolside party. Daytime wear we're talking light and bright like in this case white shorts and this light blue shirt. Shorts are the way to go when it comes to brunches you want to keep it super casual of course you can go for chinos but if you really want to make a style statement go for this shirt and shorts look. As for your shirts once again give priority to all the lighter colors maybe white maybe super light pink maybe if you want you can go for a deeper color but it should still be kind of on the bright side and as for shoes ideally you want to go for loafers instead of flip-flops flip-flops are for everyday wear but while we're talking about parties remember you're already wearing shorts or chinos and you're already dressed down a little bit you don't want to dress down further with flip-flops go for loafers instead Nothing too fancy, just your regular pair of bright colored loafers, ideally. I personally wouldn't wear darker loafers in this case. Either way guys, that covers all four party looks. This was Beer Biceps' New Year's special. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Those are the two playlists I recommend for all my brothers watching the video till this point. And until next time guys, from Ranveer and the team, we'll see you later.